Hey everybody, welcome to Obscurities and Miniatures, and we're back with some new reptilian goodies that come to us from the Dragon Trapper's Lodge. <laughs> These models are part of the release, The Gods of the Lost Continent. Now, although this is not the first time that the Lodge has found itself dealing with dinosaurs or dinosaur-adjacent monsters, um, it's the first that we've seen such a nice, cohesive mix of dinosaur people. And that's not something that we've seen a lot of so far, and I'm all for it. So here is one of the new Dinosaurians. This is an Ankylosaurian. Hopefully not bellowing in impotent rage, because that's something that, you know, worshippers of corn would do if they were playing Gore Chosen, which was an absolute blast to play, by the way. No, but they've got a very Mesoamerican feel here, and I'm always one to give props and support to my brawler brethren. Although I do have a soft spot for dual-wielding models as well. And these are a nice size. Uh, I did not get a chance to print any of the other humanoid variations. Besides the Ankylosaurians, we also have Pterosaurians and Spinosaurians, which was kind of a fun little, you know, play with the names. But these guys stack up pretty nice compared to some of the other various races we've seen from the lodge and I mean they are about human size as well one of the monks from the martial arts release there so you can see they're pretty good sized I would have loved to have printed more unfortunately Amazon and eBay and everybody else seem to have all conspired against me and have decided not to deliver any resin to me and it's been quite frustrating so uh, I've been starting this since the beginning of the month and I'm now at almost three weeks of waiting for stuff to arrive. So this is like the very last few drops of resin I was able to eke out of that machine and I'm like, I am determined to get this stuff printed. So in addition to the more normal size stuff, it wouldn't be a Dragon Trapper's Lodge release without some of the larger monsters themselves. Here we have one of those monsters. This is the Tricera Hulk. And I think, to me, these are my favorite type of models that come from the Dragon Trapper's Lodge in that they're just great showcase models. They're usually kind of wild and funky, and they're like the perfect size for a typical human. Hopefully not a naked German, but, you know, you'll take what you've got handy. Handy. Get it? Hands. <laughs> but, I mean, honestly, for like a typical RPG encounter... I think these are really great sized. Hollowed out, very kaiju-like. That's right, somewhere back in the ancient history of the lodge, they did some larger scale kaiju models. And I should have those somewhere. Of course, I should have some of the other models from the original dinosaur release, and I have no idea where I've put them now, except for the big boss. Like, I do know where that one is because he's handy right here just to get <laughs> yeah he doesn't even fit unfortunately i have yet to actually commit paint to this monstrosity he's not even wearing his howda or his sail fin but you know just to give you guys a good indication of some of the bigger larger crazier models that the lodge has put out they get big and speaking of big our next friend here is one of a trio of gods that come to us from the Lost Continent. This is the God of Death. And after being casually reprimanded by my child over the fact that, you know, sauropods, not sauropods, I'm sorry. I can't remember. I'm drawing blanks as to what kind of dinosaurs. Theropods. I'm going to get it right eventually. T-Rex types did not have those types of claws, but since we're playing in Fantasyland, they can have whatever kind of claws they want. And I really love the ornate, morbid armor that this thing is wearing. We've got the skulls on the tail there. And it's got a good size base. It's not super impractical in terms of size, like our lodge-carrying uh, six-limbed Spinosaur there. It's... To me, you know, it's not much bigger than like our Tricera Hulk or some of the other Lodge monsters 
that I found laying around. And like, eventually I am going to get around to all these. I've got a snail. I forget what it was called. It was like a big snail with like eight legs or something stomping around. That was a fun one from one of their swamp releases, I believe. Mm -hmm. But you can see here, I, at least in terms of sizing, in comparison with a typical human size model, it's not too big, it's not too small, and honestly, it would make a great centerpiece for any kind of lizard-related army, I think. Now, if you had the other two gods, the sun god being a multi-winged uh, pterosaur variant on fire, like a phoenix, and then we had the god of life, which was a sauropod, which was where my mind was going, so a big long neck for those of you who grew up with the land of before time, with like a giant tree of life and rebirth growing out of him. You know, being the old nature folksy type. So, kind of a fun release. In addition to all sorts of other craziness, like shadow raptors, and there was like tar pit reapers, and just crazy stuff like that. So, if this seems like anything that you would find remotely interesting, if you are a lizard man player who is in need of variety, if you are a fan of one page rules, all this stuff has its own rules. Uh, you are definitely going to be in for a treat when it comes to just visually distinct and interesting animals and the people trying to subdue them. So, like I said, we'll have that link if you haven't had a chance to check those out. We always include those at the bottom of the videos, and hopefully you're going to find some fun critters to mess around with just like I have. And hopefully we'll get some paint committed to these in the near future. So, with that said then, this has been High Lord Tamerlane with Obscurities and Miniatures saying thanks for watching, and we will... See you back here soon. Bye-bye.